Hello, my name is Joanne, and welcome once again to our Lenten video reflection series. We are grateful for this opportunity to accompany you as we journey together toward deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the Gospel for the third Sunday of Lent features Most Reverend Gregory Studeris, Auxiliary Bishop of Newark and Regional Bishop of Hudson County. Let us begin by listening to the Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and the oxen, and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, take these out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, what sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, this temple has been under construction for 46 years and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this, and they came to believe the scripture and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and he did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. The Gospel of the Lord. There is a wonderfully graphic expression in Spanish that goes like this, poner las cosas patas arriba, which literally implies put things with your feet above your head. But in English, we simply say to turn things upside down. Well, what we hear in the scriptures fits either one of these translations. God gave the commandments to the world through Moses and his people, precisely because they had put their relationship with him, with his creation, with all of his creatures, upside down. The people had again and again forgotten that God is God. They had forgotten that he had established a two-way covenant with his people from the moment of creation and on through Noah and Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, a covenant that they could depend on. They could depend on him. And yet again and again, the people failed to remember that dependency and instead put their confidence merely in themselves. Now we know well enough that when things are upside down, they tend to fall apart. They tend not to work their best. Things fall to the ground when a bag is simply turned upside down and a great deal of what was in the bag will be broken and destroyed. The hope is always that some things might yet be saved. In this time of pandemic, we know quite well what it feels like when things go upside down. There is confusion, uncertainty, systems break down, relationships, if not merely distant, they can also seem to be maybe lost. And we are all waiting for something and someone to put things right. To put them right, hopefully even better and wiser than before. 
We wait for that moment when we are no longer unsure of ourselves and unsure of our brothers and sisters. When things go upside down, it takes someone to make the effort to put them right again. So now God comes forth once again to do just that for his people Israel, that they will be his people and his covenant will be with them to set things right if they keep his commands. Indeed, all humankind will be his people if his commands are kept, for his commands are just. And they recognize so simply and directly that God is God and we are not. God has given us this creation and we, his people, are mutually gifted by it. And we must treat him as he deserves. And we must treat our brothers and sisters and, and indeed all of creation as appreciated gifts from him. The gospel passage today is the story of Jesus setting things right side up. Yes, in the temple, he aggressively turns out the merchants of sheep and cattle and doves, and he turns the tables of the money changers upside down. But in truth, he is simply setting things right once again. He is once again making the temple what it was meant to be, his father's house, and the house where his brothers and sisters would be able to believe again that their father was with them. Lent for us is meant to be a time when things are somehow what put upside down. Our normal daily habits and practices somewhat changed. The priority of our time is changed for time is meant to be given to God. We, called by him through his Son, are to turn to him. And deep in our awareness of him, we are called by his Son to turn to our brothers and sisters in his spirit of loving and caring charity. We are called to see our God's creation as it truly is, his precious gift to us, and to thus appreciate his many gifts to us more deeply than ever. With the Lord's grace in our hearts, we are called in Lent to make things right. And so let us make this Lent a time of putting things right with our God and with our brothers and sisters. And so may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.